Well, Life Imitating Art takes on wild new meaning on the new series Utopia. Ashley Lathrop stars as Becky, who along with her friends uncovers a real life global conspiracy through reading a comic book. Watch. Oh, I remember Antler Man. I have never been a fan of the superhero crap. What? There's enough alpha males in the world as it is. But Utopia, see, see that's different because I really want us to get that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm, I'm drunk. Do you have a girlfriend? What? No. no. I've just been waiting to hear what your story was. For almost a year. I would have waited two years. And Ashley is here with me now. Hi, Ashley. How are you? I'm good. I'm as well as I can be. How are you? That same. The exact same. <laughs> so you said on Instagram that Becky uh, was your dream role. Why'd you say that? You know, I, I love playing characters that have meaning to me and also characters that you don't get to see every day. And Becky is a nerd. And it's so infrequent that you see smart black girl nerds. So I was like, yes, I'm all about this character. I want to play her. I think she's interesting. I think she's funny. She's witty. She's cool. And also it's Gillian Flynn. And I mean, that woman is a genius. So to get to work on a production where she was at the helm. I was happy to see a black girl in the mix in this way. Um, who looks like you? And tell us a little bit more about Becky and how she plays into the story of Utopia. Um, so Becky is one of the, we call them the nerds, and she is the sweetest, probably the most in the world of the nerds because she, you know, volunteers in her spare time and she makes these little ribbons for various causes. Um, and she is suffering from a terminal disease called Deals, and she believes that this graphic novel Utopia, within its pages, is hidden the secret to how to cure her incurable disease. So kind of life or death for her to get that. You know, John Cusack, who's one of the uh, other stars in this, talked about how this is similar to what our story is. Uh, you know, it's, it's such a surreal experience because we shot this last year before COVID hit, obviously. And so watching it now where it's so relevant is wild. Obviously that is not all our show is. Our show is not the pandemic show. There's a lot of other elements in this story, but it is kind of weird that the backdrop is in some ways similar to what's going on now. Now, this story was adapted um, by uh, Gillian Flynn from a British version. How does this version differ from what people know of the story previously? Ours is probably a little bit more sort of bumpy and grittier. We're in the muck a little bit, um, and there are definitely some story elements that have changed, but I don't want to spoil anything. Got to talk to you about Handmaid's Tale. Uh, bravo. Oh my God. You did that, honey. <laughs> and we read that you kind of built your own backstory. So there was more um, to this character than the audience ever really got to know. Can you got to know? Can you tell us a little bit more about that backstory? Because as a fan of the show, I really want to know. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's something that I do with any character I play to try to make them more fleshed out. Uh, so I was trying to figure out how of Matthew became the way she was, and I decided that she, you know, grew up in a predominantly white neighborhood and was raised by very conservative, fundamental Christian parents. And so it wasn't very difficult for her to make the transition into uh, trying very hard to wholeheartedly believe in Gilead because it was similar to how she was raised. And mm. got to be a little too much when it's, you know, before. What was it like being a part of that world? You know, it was really interesting because I was a fan of the books um, from even before there was a television show. Um, mm. And I really remember reading it in high school and, and being enamored of the characters in this dystopian world. Uh, and then suddenly our world started to look like that a little bit. Um, there were some definite fears <laughs> about us not being far off from that. And so I think for me, it was really profound to get to work on a show that had so much meaning, that has such a, a cautionary tale to it uh, that inspires people to think and to question and maybe try to do their best to make sure 
we don't end up like that. Well, I want to let everybody know that you can catch Utopia streaming on Amazon Prime Video right now. Ashley, thank you and congratulations on everything. Yeah, thank you so much.